that is written or composed uh, in majority by white males. Is that a problem? No, it's not a problem. Why would that be a problem? Okay. When you're talking about theology, you're talking about ideas. You're not talking about the skin color of the theologian, unless you're a racist. Read the best theology. The authors of that corpus happen primarily to be white men. Deal with it. The other end, who's saying these things directly to you, and they're saying them directly to you, that's a whole other level of harassment, really. Oh, trigger warning. Sorry. I don't know how these trigger warnings work. It's, I think it's supposed to say the trigger warning before the triggering statement, but whatever. Anyway, I was listening to this guy, um, and yeah, this guy's, you know, his name is Paul, Dr. Paul Maxwell, and he has the web, uh, the YouTube channel Selfwire. Uh, this channel, I think, should have a lot more subscribers. It's a really good channel. Um, but anyway, uh, so I wanted to talk about something he says in this video, and the video is titled, Why I Mainly Read White male theologian. So obviously this guy is a white supremacist. But anyway, um, I wanted to respond to something right around minute 1245. Let's, let's talk about this. I have a little story to tell you. Didn't care. And as Thomas Sowell writes, affirmative action hurts black people because <laughs> people assume that black employees were hired due to their blackness, further deepening the rationale for justified prejudice against blacks within the institution once they've gotten in, right? Affirmative action is willing to trade the slowly acquired bona fide respect based on competence for the quickly gained status that competency yields. Now, the best means of achieving equality of opportunity for all races and genders, which is the best way of achieving equality for all races and genders, is to hold the same standard of competence for everyone. So, does it really feel good to... Listen to this. This is what I wanted to talk about. ...to black authors or minority authors or female authors, to, to those authors, when they win a spot in blogs that are have titles like Top 5 Minority Books on Theology, top five books that white males aren't reading, right? It's insulting, okay? It's racist and it's sexist and it's actually, uh, 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 it's demeaning to those authors themselves, okay? Yeah, it is demeaning to those authors themselves. I have a little story to tell uh, about this. Um, a couple of different situations that came up in my life. And I've, I've gone on record as saying is if I found out that I was hired for a position in part because of my skin color or of my ethnicity, I would quit that position right then and there. I would just absolutely not accept that as uh, as something that uh, that happened, um, as long as I had control over it anyway. But 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 let me tell you a couple of stories. So someone who will remain anonymous, who may or may not have the last name Robles, who may or may not have grown up with me, who may or may not have we've been in fights as kids and may or may not have been my brother, but someone close to me um, went to a small uh, Christian college and um, he's remembers, he's told me this story a few times where he remembers, you know, his first year or, or so, something like that, he was a slacker. A lot of a lot of college kids are slackers in their first year or so. And so he would, um, would stay up late, he would hang out, he would do fun things instead of studying, and as a result, his grades suffered. Um, and he had a few scholarships as well that were you know, he was required to keep a certain sort of uh, grade point average. And he remembers that he wasn't the only one that kind of slacked in this way. It was also some of his friends who slacked in this way. And everyone's grades were suffering together. Um, and he got an email from this, like, special diversity... I don't know, liaison or something about, hey, you know, do you need any extra help? Do you need this and that? And, um, you know, I, we, we noticed that your grades are, are suffering. We wanted to know what we could do for you. Um, this just seems nice, right? Um, and uh, so <laughs> he asked his, his friends if they got, you know, his white friends, if they got similar emails, and they did not. They had not gotten any email like that. And Rather than being something like, oh, wow, they must really care about... That is... He was pissed about that. And I think rightfully so. That is so demeaning. As if, well, you know, the reason why a minority's grades suffer must mean because we need to help them more, you know? They're, they're not quite as capable. Maybe they're not quite as capable as these white kids. You know, this, the whole existence of these diversity groups in colleges and in, 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 in governments and stuff like that is a white supremacist idea. 
Uh, we, oh, we need, they, they need a little extra help in order to make it in this world. That's not true. That is not true. My brother rejected that help, and good for him. He sent them an email back, said, do not ever contact me again. And I don't think that they ever did. I don't know that part of the story verbatim, but I know he contacted them and said, I don't ever want to hear from you guys again. Please do not come. And because that is so demeaning. It's not empowering. It's belittling. And it's white supremacist. And it really pisses me off, too. Um, second story. Um, may or may not be the same person. He was going to a uh, Presbyterian seminary. And somebody reached out to him at one point and said, hey, you know, your seminary is racist and you got to watch out because they'll say and do racist things and, and this and that. And my brother just, I don't know if he responded to this one, but but he, he's like, I've not experienced anything like that. In fact, I went to his, 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 his graduation and the, the majority of the people, I think, were actually not ethnically white, uh, the people who graduated even though this would definitely be considered a white seminary by some people. And so, you know, there's agitators out there. I could easily see someone sending emails like that to other people and like, oh, maybe it is racist, you know, I don't know. Like, th 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 you got to be keep in mind, there's a lot of agitators out there. And there's a lot of agitators among the people that I criticize that are agitating and trying to, to overturn the power structures and the hierarchies and things like that. They are not godly people. Those are not godly people. That's not something that's godly, to be an agitator. Um, here's another story. When I went to school, I, I went to the University of Maryland, and um, I initially was going to the business school. And this was a very competitive business school, and most people didn't get into the business school right away. They had to actually prove themselves in, on the college level before they would get accepted fully. And I remember I got accepted right away into the business school. And I, I remember, I, I never confirmed this, but I remember thinking, did I get accepted in this business school because I had the merits to get accepted in this business school? Or did they look at my application and say, Latino, decent qualifications, let's let them right in. And I gotta be honest with you, that was and is belittling. It's white supremacist. I know a lot of Latinos agree with that kind of stuff and a lot of blacks agree with that kind of stuff. But the reality is that is a mindset of someone who is accepted that they are not as uh, capable as other people. And I reject that. I reject that. I remember my qualifications. I was like, yeah, I got. I had a real. I had a pretty good SAT score. I had some decent grades in in high school. Um, but was it enough to really get into the school? Or did they just let me in because I have the right skin color? And that pissed me off. And it should piss anyone off because affirmative action is of at, at its core a white supremacist idea. And it actually hurts the minorities it aims to help. And it actually is insulting to them as well. I completely agree with this guy. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. God bless.